Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys the features of Air Command in the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Now when you first get your device and you pull out the S Pen, one of the things that may pop up is going to be Air Command. Now let's say you would like it to pop up with something else, such as either Nothing or Action Memo. You're going to pull down the notifications bar. Head over into the settings and look for where you can find the S Pen settings. And what you'll do is you'll scroll on down and on the very bottom it says Detachment Options. Inside of Detachment Options you have None, Action Memo, and Air Command. And so I'm going to leave mine as Air Command and let me show you guys a few things you'd be able to do with it. So the first thing is, you know, you want to pop it right back up. And so what you're going to do is hover the S Pen on the screen and you're going to see a little dot on your screen. Then hit on the S Pen button, and yes, there is a button on the S Pen. Once you press that, it's going to pop up with Air Command. And what's inside of there is going to be Action Memo. You also have Smart Select, Image Clip, and then Screen Write. So let's go to this very first one, and I'm going to show you guys Action Memo. With Action Memo, one of the things you'd be able to do is if you meet somebody new, and you jot down their name, and let's say their name is Mark, and their phone number is 222-333. Four, five, six, seven. When you hit on the third icon in, it makes it actionable. And so what you'd be able to do is if it's a phone number, you can call it, add to contacts, text message. If you wrote down an email, you'd be able to email that. If you wrote down a website, you can check it out in the browser. This is where you can go to maps and make a checklist. So let's add this person as a contact. And there we go. And all you have to do is hit on save. So you don't have to redo something if you're just jotting down a name. Now, if we open this back up, and let's say that we click on that link button, but we don't want to add this person as a contact, you just want to call them. If you click outside of that box and you create your own just by circling that phone number, now what you'd be able to do is with the, only that information inside the box, you'd be able to call them or text message. Let's say that you are heading over to the store and you need to pick up milk, bread, and eggs, let's for say. Now you want to go over into the actionable icon again, and let's say you want to make a checklist. So when you click on the task, this is where you're going to be able to do milk, bread, and eggs. And if there's one of them that you've already done, just hit the little check mark, and it's going to be crossed off. If you'd like to add in a date and start editing this, you can actually press and hold and go into edit, so then you'd be able to add in a date and a time when you'd like that task to be done. And as you guys can tell, this is underneath your calendar, just underneath agenda. So if you if you already previously made all these different tasks to do, just make you make sure you hit on agenda if you already are looking at your monthly calendar. So now I'm going to show you guys two different air commands in one. And this is a way you'd actually be able to do holiday shopping if you would like to. So let's go into Amazon. And what we're going to do is we're going to check out some different shopping ideas for some of our friends and families. And so let's say that this t-shirt right here is something that we would like to purchase for our friend named Bob. So you're going to hover the S Pen and you see that little dot there. Hit on the S Pen button and let's go to Screen Write. Screen Write, what it does is it takes a snapshot of your phone and then you're able to actually write on the screen. So this one will actually be for Bob. And let's actually make this a XL and let's try to get this in red. Now what you are able to do is hit on this check mark to save this whole image. Or what you'd be able to do is do the share via button and put it over into your scrapbook. This way you'd be able to put it all into one place and find it later. Now what I like to do is I don't need all of this little stuff down here. I don't need anything up here. All I want is just this area right there. This is where the other air command comes into play. And I'm going to do smart select. With smart select, I'm going to be able to just choose on this information right here. All I need is just the name, what he wants, and then also the price range. And let's put it straight into scrapbook. And I already made an album referred to as Christmas. And so now I'm going to hit on save. Just to show you guys what it looks like, I'm going to exit out of here. I don't need to save it because it's already in my scrapbook. And let's head over into the application of scrapbook. If I head over into Christmas, this is the one that we just added in. And then I got some other stuff in there as well. And so this is a great way for you guys to be able to do a Christmas shopping while using two different air commands. The other air command that's in here we haven't shown off is image clip. So with image clip, what you're able to do is take a snippet of an image and be able to do what you want with it. So let's say we went to cars.com and I found this little vehicle here and I want to see what it looks like with different rims. 
So I'm going to hover my S Pen over the screen, hit the S Pen button, and go to Image Clip. And so now all I'm going to do is just draw a little circle around this image. Looks like a little preschooler has done that, and it's not pretty. On the very top, you notice where it has the magnet. So now it's only going to form right around the lines of the vehicle. And so what I'm going to do is I will actually share this and put it into an S note. So let's go create a brand new S note. Now that it is placed there, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And now let's go find some different rims for this. So I'm going to head back over into the internet. And let's go over to some tirerack.com. I'm going to hover the S Pen. I'm going to hit on the image clip. And then I'm going to be able to outline this tire again. And as you can tell, it's not really that pretty. But once you hit on that little magnet icon, going to go right around the lines of that tire. And now what I'll be able to do is this time it is already saved into the clipboard. And so I'm going to go back into S Note, hit on the menu button on the very top right hand side, go to insert, and this is where you see your clipboard. So I'm going to choose on that tire. Close out of there. Let's make this tire a little bit smaller so it'd be able to fit inside of the vehicle. And that is what that tire is going to look like on that vehicle. So that is some of the fun stuff you'd be able to do with Image Clip. Now this last thing I'd like to show you guys is with an address and phone number and everything like that. So let's say that you found a location or it was texted or emailed to you and you would like to share this information or find it or call it. So you hover the S Pen over the screen, hit on the S Pen button, and this is where you're going to do Smart Select. With Smart Select, you don't have to press anything else. You just want to highlight that area. And once it's highlighted, you're going to notice this little T icon referred to as Meta Text. With Meta Text, what it does is it pulls all that information and it categorizes it to where you'd be able to share the entire bits of information with your friend. Or here is the phone number. You can share it, call it, add to contacts or text message. This is the address. You'd be able to share it or go to it in Google Maps. And here is the website where you can share to it, go to it, or bookmark it. Those are just a few things you'd be able to do with Air Command. Hope this helped you guys out, and have a great day.